Hey guys, I'm so glad to see you. Today we're gonna to read a story about Paul and Silas in prison. Have you ever been to prison? No, I didn't think so. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas and the city officials ordered them to be stripped and beaten with wooden rods. Ooh, say ouch, that would hurt. They were severely beaten, then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they did not escape. So the jailer put them in an inside dungeon and clamped their feet together. All right, take your hands and hold on to your feet. Are your feet gonna go anywhere? No, sure not. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and other prisoners were singing and listening to them. Think of a song that we sing that we like so much. Jesus loves me. Can you sing that for me? How about you sing it with me? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Great job. All of a sudden, there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundation. All the doors immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner flew off. So take your arms and fling them open like they're big doors. Now shake the chains off. Good job. The jailer woke up to see the prison doors were wide open. He assumed all the prisoners had escaped. So he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted, stop, stop. We're all here. The jailer called for lights and ran to the dungeon and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. That means he was shaken. He was scared. He was shocked. He was just didn't know what was going on. Then he brought them asked and he said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? Now we know the answer to this, don't we? They replied, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved along with everyone in your household. And they shared the word of the Lord with him and all who lived in his household. Even at that hour of the night, the jailer cared for them and washed their wounds. Wipe your feet, wipe your legs where the chains would have been because it probably hurt, probably left boo-boos and ouchies. Then he and everyone else in his household were immediately baptized. He brought them into this house and set a meal before them. And he and his, he and his entire house rejoiced because they all believe in God. Everybody say, yay! That's exactly right. Paul and Silas told the prison guard that he could believe in Jesus. You can too, and you can trust Jesus to always be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, so much for sending your son, Jesus. The one we take with us, that we keep in our heart that's never gonna leave us. He protected Paul and Silas, just like he protects us. Father, I pray for these families. Let them know they are loved and they're prayed for regularly. In your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.